Hi, my name is Kelly Cushing. Thank you for joining us at Canva 101 for artists. Okay, and if you guys have questions as I'm going, just please um, ask me because um, I, I won't read the chat or anything because I'll be looking and <laughs> doing my own thing. Um, so I'll just kind of go over it briefly. So, um, so this is what you get. This is what you see when you log into Canva. Um, it's, it's a little overwhelming when you first look at it. It's got... Um, so right at the top here is all the different things you can do. They have um, the docs, the whiteboards, presentations, social media, videos, pimp products, and then the websites. And you can go into the more, which has, it's not showing me. Why are you not showing me? Oh, I like the little thingies though. Oh, there. More. Oh, there, the infographics, photo collage, there's so much. Canva has so much um, possibilities, like you can do almost everything. I mean, print projects, posters, worksheets, tons of things. So what we'll cover today is just really quick is uh, we'll go into social media. I think, is that something all of you guys would be interested in or is that? So I thought, were we going to make one, Kelly? Yeah, sure, we can make one. Okay, that's what I'd like to find out, please. Okay, so we'll go into social media here, and it has all the different, so Instagram posts, Facebook posts. So for you, Erica, they have a Facebook post too that you can do, so it'll be landscape. So we'll do an Instagram post, because like I said, you can use the Instagram posts and Facebook as well, because it's very um, adaptable, let's say. So right on the side here, there's a design you see right here. So in the design, you can, so for artists, obviously, um, we wanna look at the art or you can search for different, they have a, a ton, a ton of templates that you can use. So mm -hmm. these are just, this is without even searching, you can see all the different templates they have. So say we wanna do an art one. So they give you a whole bunch of different templates. See, you don't even want to do art. Like maybe a, you, oh, you are an artist, but you want to maybe focus on something like maybe your art is of, I don't know, a hamburger or something. You can search, like you can search whatever is uh, um, applicable to you. And then when you get, so we can go in and find, you can just pick something. I was looking at this one now because I was thinking about you actually. So when you get this into this, so you can also in the templates, you can change the style too. So if you don't like the colors or you don't like the um, fonts and that kind of thing too, you can just change it. And so if, if you go to this, you can click through it. So it has a different, like different, it's a different color kind of set that you can click through and it changes all the lines. I mean, this one doesn't have a whole lot of difference to it just because there's not a lot. But so let me just go back here. So with Canva too, so if you take this photograph and you can delete that, but you can see how it has these boxes here. Mm -hmm. So when you see these boxes, you can. So, um, so like for art, you'd have different uploads. We can go find a piece of Nan's art. I saw the big kitty. Where? Okay, uh, uh, keep going down, down. Oh. The big kitty. Oh, the big kitty. Okay. Oh, so we don't want to do it that way because then it just, if you just click it, it just shows up there. But if you drag it into this space, it fills that space, right? So because it has the side things, you don't necessarily want that there. So you can also size it. I mean, this probably isn't the best photograph for this shape, but so you can have a piece of it. And then you just drag it to move the, the size of it to fit the box itself. And then you just enter and it fits there. So nice. Yeah. So then the same with all this, just do the same thing. We put Nan here since she's not going to show herself. Now we can look, see what you look like. <laughs> You're a brat. 
<laughs> yes, yes, I am. And so same thing. Here's another one of her pieces. So again, we can center that or move it over. So the boat's in the middle. And then the world art day. So you can change the fonts however you want. So the color, here's the different fonts. So they have a whole list of like oodles of them. And again, so I have the paid version. So you can tell which is the free versions because the, the paid ones have the ones with the like the little crown here. So anything with this crown like that, those are for the, the paid ones. But there's lots of different free things as well. So say you want to change the font, you can change the color right here. So say you want to match it to uh, um, something like one of the pictures. So Canva is really great because it, so th see the photo colors here? Mm -hmm. So you have the cat, these are all the colors that are in the cat picture. And all the pictures, all the colors, or not all of them, but it takes a good selection of the different colors in each of the photographs, right? So you, if you want to use those to kind of balance it a little bit, or um, you can just take that and it kind of. Isn't know, that something? Isn't that cool? Yeah. I know. And then you can change the size by doing this, this up and down. We can change it by the number here like so if you kind of know what size you want it so you don't want it maybe that big you want it quite a bit smaller and then you can change the font again maybe make it like a little more, more um flowy i don't know what's the word and you can also change the the size by just dragging and drop or dragging the box so then you can you know if you're thinking oh i don't know what size i want but you can play with it because you can just pull it over and drag it and then just drag the whole um, box to move it over just so you can put it where you want it. So you want part of that or. And if, Kelly, if you didn't want like the world, the word world in there per se, or you can delete it or does it let you? Yeah, you just push delete. Oh, okay. I okay. Highlight it like that. So the box is around it and then just hit delete. Okay. And if you don't want this box, same thing, you can delete everything. And even the background, so we say you don't, okay. So if you're on something like this and there's multiple different things, there is a, a kind of a cheat, or not a cheat, but a shortcut. Mm -hmm. So you can get behind it. You push the control and click and see how it highlights different boxes. Oh, okay, yeah. So you keep clicking it and it'll go to different boxes. Hmm. Oh, I deleted everything. So there's another thing. So if you want to change the background, you can go to up to elements. So yeah, so there's a whole schwack of different things you can use. There's backgrounds, there's gradients, there's different um, um, graphic kind of stuff. There's photographs on here. They have like a lot of different things you can add um, and you can search every, like everything you can search. So if you want, I don't know, say something. So blue, okay, let's go with blue, blue paint splatter. I don't know why. So it brings up a whole bunch of different things. So you can so you can go over to this if you want a graphic, you see all, and it shows you all of the different blues that have paint on it. Hmm. And if you want a background, just search that and gives you all these different backgrounds. And then you can kind of surf, siphon through them with the different colors, different blues, blacks, green, red, all the different colors. And then they have different graphic designs and stuff too. So, okay, say you want to use. Try the sun. Sorry? The sun background there, the yellow one. The yellow one, do that one? Yeah. 
Okay. So say you don't want it that bright. You can change, you can push it. I'm going to move you guys out of the way. Um, so over here, you have the transparency level. So you can change that too. So if you don't want it quite as bright, you just want it like maybe kind of um, just like a hint of it even. You can make it really, really like, oh, that's doing the whole thing. Though. And then the position of it, you can change. And you can animate it in different ways. So if you want to make it not just a flat image, oh, I'll get to that later, actually. Let me do that later. So I want to show you too with the art or like with the um, words and stuff, you can also do different effects with it. So you can add a, a drop shadow, you can lift it. So that just means like having a black against it. So it kind of looks like it's lifted. And you can also change the intensity. It's probably mm. not the best. I'm going to take that out so you can see it better. There. See how it has that lift there? Mm -hmm. No, not that. Not that. And you can do outlines. Mm. And then change the color of the outlines, I think. No. Oh, yes, you can. It's right there. So if you want a different color, I don't know why you'd want it the same color. <laughs> mm. And then you can also change the thickness of it. Mm. And then if you want it spliced, which just kind of like gives you that little kind of, kind of similar to the drop shadow. And then this one makes it hollow, but it doesn't on this one because the writing is probably so wonky. Mm -hmm. Probably look better there, like that one. You can see it better in that, which kind of looks kind of cool. And then this puts the background on it. So you can change the background color as well right here. So if you want the background, say a black or brown or whatever, you can change that. So much easier than word. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know it's got it's it's very powerful for you know a free thing that you can get online. And again, like um, I can't remember what I'm paying. There is a price pricing thing um, on here. I can't remember what I what I what I pay for it per month, but it's it's for what I use it for. It's definitely worth it. And you can kill the roundness or make it square or make it round, make it bigger, make it smaller, like a lot. And then you can curve it too. If you want it curved. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I like it too, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't like this one. This is a weird one glitch. It looks, it hurts my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Neon. Perfect. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is how I work. <laughs> yes, I make lots of noises. Okay. So, um, okay. And then, so spacing too, you can. Change the grid spacing. So if you want more spaces in beneath, or in between, in beneath, in between, you can do that. Or you can flip things and flip it horizontally. That doesn't make much of a difference, but on that one, but but if you want, like, the, if you're doing a gradient and you want it a different way, you can flip it that way. And then with these things too, you can change the brightness. So say like you have a, an image that's kind of maybe you kind of washed out or so you want to make it a little darker or you want to change the contrast on it. Ooh, you look spooky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, now he's way saturated. 
Mm. Now he's black and white. We have different filters, drop shadows. I love drop shadows. I don't know why. And then if you make, if you do something you don't like, you, you can go up here to the back button. Mm -hmm. So if you go, if you do something like two or three back or three or four, five, six back even, you can go backwards mm -hmm. and fix it. And you can do resize, but that's a paid version, unfortunately. So, um, but that's something if you, if you do purchase it, so you can resize it. Like, so like Erica, if you're doing, um, you do something or anybody, if you do something, it's, oh, you think, oh, shoot, it's the wrong size. I need to do it a different dimension. You can resize it, which is handy because there's times where I do something like, so when I'm trying to repurpose my um, images for different, um, so like I usually start with YouTube first because you, it starts bigger because it's like a thousand and eighty by something. So it's always, it's a different dimension. So now to make it smaller, make it more um, like Facebook or social media, um, Instagram worthy, you have to make it smaller so you can resize it. So it makes it so it makes it super easy. So you don't have to do it all over again. You just resize what you've done and make it a different dimension, which is super. And that's part of the whole um, repurposing your your uh, social media posts or your different things like that. So, and then they also have filters too that you can use. So if you want to put a little different spin on things, you usually I don't usually use these, but some of them. Maybe if you have an image that's maybe not greatest, or you want to turn yourself black and white, or you want to turn your image into black and white or whatever, you can try those. Um, oh yeah, so that's kind of the basic. Um, and again, so if you want to, we can go back and start something else. Yeah. Uh, let me pick something for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. So they've also added a bunch of new things. Like they actually have a video on all these different things that they've added. They've added like this brand hub thing on here. I don't know if you can get that though if you don't purchase it. So it kind of takes, see I have all the Archive Collective colors on here as well, as well as my logo and that kind of thing. So that makes it super easy. So if you're like, oh, I, I want to make it the color of my logo or I want to make it the color of, um, you know, something that you can put these colors, something that you use all the time. It might not even be your logo because maybe your colors that you want on your images and your graphics and stuff aren't the colors of your logo, right? Because sometimes they're not really suitable. You might want it more neutral, um, but you can, so you can pick, you can make your own little um, color thing. I don't know what the word thing is. <laughs> Palette. Thank you. You're welcome. Takes an artist. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's hand, super handy, I find, because sometimes I don't have my, um, Colors. I have to go back and forth to Photoshop and and like do that. But now they've got this. It's kind of awesome. And then they have right here. So there's L. So the design is where you start off, and you have everything. Um, elements are what I showed you with all the different backgrounds and different graphics and that. The brown tub is what I just showed you. So you can also upload like files for whatever you want to do. So um, you can go in and pick. Uh, something. We'll pick on Nan. Oh, no, you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead. Okay, so we'll go and find, um, let's go to Karsten. He's got awesome photographs. So you can pull his stuff in. And so you can just upload whatever you have. So you can upload your logo. You can upload a picture of yourself. You can upload photographs that... Um, um, like Erica, you, I don't know if you photograph any of your clients and that kind of thing. Do you No. Okay. But if you're doing like Latara does, you do, you do photography for 
I don't know if you still do it. Do you still do the um, like homes and that kind of thing, or do you still do photography much? Oh, you're on mute. I'm uh, not currently doing any real estate photography. <laughs> Um, by the way, uh, what is that font? The amazing artwork collection. What is that font? Yeah, it's nice, eh? That's beautiful. Pan Mignon. Mignon. <laughs> and um, would you would you mind showing us how to create a custom color palette? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can do that like really quick. I think it's going to take. Oh, okay. I've only done it once so far. Um, okay. Maybe that can be um, 2.0. <laughs> maybe we should do that for next time because it takes a little bit of time. Um, but let me see if I'll have time. I just want to get through everything really quick and go through that. So, okay, so uploading is pretty easy. So you can upload images, videos, and audio. So, I mean, they do have audio available on Canva, but um, I think that's, some of it you kind of, you can run into um, reusing it for some of it. I don't know, but there's not a whole lot here. Um, videos, oh, those are all mine. So, it doesn't come, I don't know if it comes with any audio. I'm thinking of, what am I thinking of that comes with audio? Probably YouTube. No, my editing video, video editing software. Um, so if you wanna add um, any um, text, sorry, totally blanked out there. Um, there's, they have a, a, a group of different kinds. So if you want to use a font and you like it, it looks pretty cool. Um, you know, you can use any of these, obviously, and then you can change it to colors. So say we want to use this one. So you can do different things with it. You can change the color here. So if you want, see, see how they give you the palette? I love that. They give you the palette of the images. So then you can kind of stick with a, a color. And then here, if you want to change it all, you can change it all, like all of that color, which is something new too. They just added that. They've done actually a lot of um, changes lately. All of a sudden, it seems like it was on it one day and the next day it was all different. So if you want to, so this please in the back, how you see how it's kind of the pink. So you go into the effects and then you can change that color to say like a gray or a, I don't know. Let's go gray. Let's go with this. And then again, you can change the size of it here. So this the type again, the whole list is here, which is, I mean, you can see how huge it is. It's got like, I don't know, every font in the world, maybe. It's tons and it just then it keeps going again. So there's lots to look at and lots to explore for sure. You can make it that color or you can make it that one. No, Tara, just for you. <laughs> change the position. So if you want the please to be in the back, like you want the reach to be, or the beach, that's the beach, the beach to be more prominent, you can put the please one to the back. Oh, no, I was doing that one. Undo, undo. To the top or to the left, center. So there's lots of things you can change and lots of things you can alter. And if I'm going too fast, please tell me, or if I'm going too slow, please tell me, or if there's something you want me to look at with you, please tell me. So when you finally, you get it all happy and you're all happy, then mm -hmm. you just save it and then you put it where you want to save it. Like, do you want to print it or forward it somewhere yeah so um 
you, you will, so you can file it. So you make folders here. So save to folder and it will go into your folder and then this will go into your projects here. Okay. Okay, so also, okay, so here's the place you can create new folders. And then if you wanna share it, so if you're gonna, you can download it here or you can share it right on social. So these you have to link up. So usually what I do, I just share it or I download it. So you wanna do, if you have photographs and graphics um, and writing, you wanna do a PNG usually, just because it seems to reproduce it better. Um, JPEG for our photographs. Standard, oh, I should show you this too. This is cool. This I just learned the other day actually. So this stuff, you can put a link on it. So if you want to link it to like your website or whatever, you put the link here. Right? And so that has an underline, but you want you don't want the underline. So you take off the underline, you can do that in the um, text part of it. And then when you share it to a P, it has to be sh shared as a PDF though. Um, it can link like without which can is you complex. show us the link again? Where did you go for that? No. Oh. So no, it's linked. Uh, okay, I'll take that off. Oh, it's still linked. Okay, I'll do another one. So when you click it there, see the three dots here? Yeah. Yeah, and this comes up that, and there's a link right there. Okay, thank you. Okay, no worries. Oh, and that's another thing too. So see, you have this where you want this to be the, all the time. You want maybe this amazing artwork collection, because then maybe that's your name of your business or whatever, and you want um, maybe these free photographs to always be here. So you can select these without selecting all of it. I don't want the whole other thing. Okay, let's just go with the pictures. Okay, obviously this is working. Okay, I'm going to show you how, how to group it. Not on that one. <laughs> it's not working out for me. I don't know why. Okay, so you want that. So you can group it. So you want things that maybe you want together. They're always going to stay the same. You can group it and ungroup it. And then if you want to copy it, you can cop just push the copy button. It's pretty self-explanatory. And let me show you. And go back. Okay, so if you want to start from scratch and don't want to do um, like a template, you don't like that template or whatever, um, and you just want to start from scratch because you're feeling creative, you can just start with a air thing um, and then go into the elements again, like I showed you before. And Erica liked this one, right? So if you don't, and if you want to use the frame kind of thing, you can do that as well. So you just search for frames. So say you want 
Um, you can put that cat in something that's more, it's, no, that wasn't, was it more? I can't remember. No, it's more square. You can put in that. You don't like it that way. You flip it. Oh, he looks weird that way. Mm -hmm. And then again, you can take your, go into your elements or no, your uploads, excuse me. And say you, up, you need to upload your logo. Just do like. Well, I think like logos too, you might want to have it so the background is um, transparent. So when you do put it on things like this sunshine, um, it won't be like white in the background because that kind of, I don't know, kind of takes away from the logo, I think. Um, so another thing too we can work on or I can show you really quick is um, let's go back to the design so say like something like this you can animate it so if you want to have like a little um, you know something you put on Facebook or Instagram or whatever but you want a little bit of movement make it a little bit more interesting because everyone knows too right now if you have things that are um, video that seems to be big and everything. <laughs> so, so you can also change it to, it'll show you what it'll do. So you can rise it, pan it over, fade it, all these different things. With, without making an actual video, it kind of gives it a little bit of movement, right? So you can do that. And then even with the writing, you can make it like look like a typewriter, which is cool. All these different things you can do to it. If you got that going on. Ish. Even though it has a scale thing, I don't know if I see much of a difference. And then it can come from in and out. So you don't, sometimes you don't want it to go out, right? Or you, maybe you do, but you can take, you can um, take that, pick what you want. If you want on enter or when you leaves or both. Like, so if you're leave, when it finishes, it'll do it, it'll leave again, right? And you can have this kind of do different things. You can also go up here. Wow, they've changed a lot of different things. This never used to be here either. Okay. Um, So you can go into the brand thing. Let's go and try that. Let's go try that. Let's go play with that and try. <laughs> There's anything anyone has any questions about or anything we want to look at or? So Kelly, is this what your girlfriend was talking about making these things, what you've been showing us? Um, no. Oh. This is more just kind of a basic overview of, of the power it has. Oh, okay. So the template thing, um, I think we can do that another time because yeah. I think that'll take a little bit more time. Yeah. And then there's a draw. Yeah, there's this new draw thing, which is cool. 
I don't know. You, I can't draw. Obviously, <laughs> you can't draw a straight line. And circle things, hmm. and then change the, the the thickness of it. It's kind of cool. And draw hearts around Ella Fitzgerald. Oh, Eleanor Fitzgerald. And just go back. And there's a new thing too that's what audio. Why did I raise some audio? Oh yeah, I use this. See, I just went. Sorry, I had my senior moment here. So there's different ones that you can use. I know I can use it on social media. I don't know if I can use it for like YouTube. But it's not the, so like I know on Instagram and that they have trending music or trending audio. I don't know if you can add that though onto this. But you can also make this longer. So if you want this to last up to 30 seconds. But most things want it short. I think the big, I don't know, is always changing, but the time that they seem to want is seven seconds now for any video, which is fast. That's a lot of talking very quickly. You can always do a PowerPoint presentation on Canvas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's presentations here. I haven't actually done that one. Is PowerPoint is what you'd want to do? That... No, I, I'm just mentioning because a lot of those uh, recent uh, tips that you showed with animation and so that is all in PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that would be actually really good for PowerPoint. That would be actually really awesome. But again, there's tons of templates. Like there's, I don't know, everything. It seems like there's just tons and tons of templates. So there's always a good, a good uh, branching off point. So if you know you can't, if you have to do, or you get to do, um, maybe something for um, a company that you're trying to talk to or approach about something, you've got to start a, st a, a, a jumping off point. You don't have to come up with it all at the top of your head because sometimes that can be very difficult to go like, oh, I don't know what to make. But at least this gives you like a, a bit of a starting point, right? And then you can alter it as you go and change. Like I said, the, you can change the images, you can change the, the fonts of things, the colors of things. It's really just enormously um i think that makes easier the work and faster because oh, a lot of options here for so much so templates mm -hmm. and even with these they have different so you can also i forgot to mention this one so you can add different pages too so say you want to add say you have to do like a 20 or a five page um, um presentation so you can just keep adding Pages, but you can add, if you add this one. No, it didn't do it. Okay. See, it shows you as add as a new page. So you can alter them around, change them around. Yeah. You want to do a new page, and then you can just drag and see so you want to add your packages. Again, you can change it all. So if you're doing, like, for you, Erica, you're doing, like, something for your business and you have different packages or whatever, like super easy. Mm -hmm. And again, you can put it on, on your website. And you can do the website, the actually website from Canvas too. Yeah, I think they just started a new thing where you, have, you can do a website from here now. I was listening to that today. I was like, holy crap, they're so, they've got so much going on right now. I honestly don't know. We can look it up though. 
Kelly, thank you very much. My husband's home now and he doesn't understand Zoom meetings. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you all. I'll okay. see you another time. Bye-bye. Okay. See you now. Yeah. But again, like if you want things for um, like that you can hand out or business cards or um, brochures or like calendars, you can put your artwork on calendars or you can um, have a planner with your own the way you want it, right? Because there's different things that you want to add, like maybe you want to add your goals, maybe you want to add certain things that you want to get through and things that you always want to do and videos and that kind of thing. So let's go to the brand hub. Okay, are you there, Latera? Yes. <laughs> okay. So come play with me. <laughs> Do this. We've got Latera's playground. Okay, so get started. So you want to, you would add your logo right here. And then from, I think from your logo, you can get the, a lot of the color palette. I don't have another logo though. I can go and find one. Let me try to find something different colors. I did this logo for a, a DJ down in Everett, Washington. Oh, it doesn't like it. Yeah, let's go to Kona Rockets. No, oh, see, it pulls out all the colors for you. And if there's something else you want to add to it, like a, I don't know, it's kind of got the white and the black, but if you want to add like, I don't know, a green, say, for whatever reason, you can add it. Today, the Keir Starmer's a tenth of that, around a still substantial £200,000. And... The source of Rishi Sunak's income, that 1.8 million, most of it. And again, too, it has the numbers that you need, like your uh, code. And you can add some fonts. Go through a whole list of fonts. You can add your font that you like so much. Your tan mignon, mignon, mignon. That's a French way of saying it, right? So you can create different brand uh folders mm -hmm. oh, okay yeah so like if you've got different clients or whatever like that you're working with and you want to create their own brand um brand hub or whatever you want to call it that's what they call it brand hub um yeah you can do it like say like for Catherine I don't know if you're still working with her or whatever like but you can put all her things into one section so when you're doing um, work for her for her like her social media or whatever or uh, YouTube, you can, it's all in one spot, which is like super awesome. And you can change all the different fonts and stuff, your headings, everything, right? You want to do a different quote, you want to use a different font for, because a lot of times they're kind of um, Oh, we have to, I have to log in into Canvas and play a little bit around. Yeah. It's always the best way. Yes. Carrie, thank you so much for, for all this overview. It's You're amazing. welcome. Erica. I have another meeting coming up at, at four, so I have to prepare for that one. Okay. 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 Thanks for coming. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Take care.
And photos, I guess if you're, I don't know if you're using the same photographs all the time, the graphics all the time, icons, like your little fav icon. I don't know why you'd use that, but, um, but at least it keeps it all in one spot, which is cool. Like I, I suppose you could put your headshot in there or something. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Or like an image of like a studio, some of the studio or that you'd use all the time or on a consistent basis. Um, yeah. So that wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. That was pretty simple. Cool, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Um, Did you already go over how to turn a, a, a graphic into a template? No, I have not. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot. So you can download the app right here. Account settings and any notification, but I, mean, I don't know unless you are doing, I mean, you might Latara, because if you're like got different people working with you, you can have notifications for, you can have your own, um, your own team, right? Like I have my team, that's of one, but I have a team. Woo. Um, yeah, I think the templates I'll, I'll show next time. I think that'll take a little bit of time. So. Um, okay, is there any questions anyone has or anything else I can quickly go over? Or? Nope, <laughs> going, going. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys found that useful. And I appreciate you taking your time out of your day to hang out with me and kind of take a look at Canva because I think it's a super, so uh, like I said, I use it all the time and it's super powerful. And it's got so much to it. Um, you know, people have designed their own t-shirts with it, their own um, calendars with it. Like it's just, it's got so much power to it. It's just an incredible and I don't get anything for saying this. I wish I did, but I don't. Um, okay. So if no one has any questions, I think I'll call it a day. And Thank thanks you. again for joining me. And have a great day. You too. Thanks. Bye. Take care.